spent 17 years working it out, planning it, working like a monarch, because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. Mm -hmm. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? Maybe because people are worth saving? Why did none of the the people who saw the things that I saw earlier figure this out? With that they had it the whole time. When the world goes dark. Am I called this in like Act Two? Mrs. Reed, because I pay attention. Call me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I seal the CFR chamber. Meet me in my boot. Okay. Soldier man. Like soldier boy, but soldier man, right? One computer to access. Boom! The lab explosion. My treatments all mm -hmm. gone. This. First things first. You could almost say that they're sealed the chamber. Paul gone. Mm. The yeah. Field regulator. Fell a bit flat. Williams precious countermeasure. Need to keep it safe at all costs. Mm -hmm. The lifeboat depends on it. Cool. Seems legit. Seems legit. He's like dying and stuff. He's like, I'm dying and shit. Not dying and shit. I'm gonna be a dead person and shit. Like this. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's like, wait a minute. I'm gonna die and <laughs> shit. I thought that said steal the CFR for a moment there. I was like, but it's mine and shit. Right, let's make sure that it isn't that computer in there that I need to. Doesn't seem to be glowing, so I would suggest it's not. It's not giving me the interaction thing. No. Yeah. Nothing else is glowing. Bye. I'm going to trust in the time sense. No, no, I'm not. I've already missed some stuff. What's that? Oh, it's the um, thingy above, isn't it? It's the time machine core. Oh, well, one of them anyway. Is that anything I can look at? Usually the things that you can look at glow, but not all of them, as we've seen. Ish. Some business. That See if I've been secured. Uh, Mr. Serene, I'm in your office. Go. I'll be right there. Serene out. So I just know how close to the end I am. I'm not afraid of death. Hmm. I'm not afraid of. He's still walking the enemy. on his own. Yeah, he was still walking on his own for a moment. I feel it infesting my thoughts. Feel what infesting your thoughts? The end of time. How's that even work, dude? Uh, I don't know who to trust anymore. My butt. Trust my butt. Sophia Amaral. She wanted to activate the lifeboat before it was ready. She wants to sabotage my operation. No, she doesn't. Who knows what she told Jack? Who knows how long she's been working against me? She isn't working against you. Silly man. There it is. There's the laptop. Sir. Be right with you, son. Be right with you. In my boot. Sir, you ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed. There was one left. The casing appears to be broken, but it's only confined. 
Awesome. So I get to choose whether to use that or not. Cool. Well, let's go grab this first. Riverport Garden Hotel. What is it with big businesses building massive buildings anyway? The treatment's right here. I know. From Clarice Ogawa. Sir, the activation of the lifeboat strikes me as a prudent measure, and I'm glad to announce that we're not taking any chances on that front. However, having discussed the matter with Mr. Hatch, I'm increasingly worried about Dr. Amaral's motives. We know that she was involved in the explosion at the treatment lab. The thing is, she's intelligent and resourceful, but the explosion wasn't something a clever scientist whipped up all by her lonesome. The lab was blown up with military-grade explosives sourced from our armory an armory she doesn't have access to, and they weren't just thrown in at random. Somebody with a solid understanding of structural weaknesses and demolition expertise set them up. Why is his breath misting? That's military training, so we know she had competent help. That means she's not working alone. Clearly Dr. Amaral is connected to Joyce, or she wouldn't have been kidnapped. That had to be her exit strategy. She had to know that we'd trace the lab explosion to her. But that's not our only concern. We have to try to figure out who she was working with on our end. I know her betrayal hurt you personally in more ways than one, and this may not be the easiest time to start to looking into this. I hope you know that I'm at your disposal. Whatever you need done, I want to get to the bottom of this. Yay, 100%. Okay then, let's um, go make up our mind what to do with this. Do, 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 do. Whee! Mm. But it's damaged. Use. Uh, sir? Is it safe? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. It's a trap! He's going a bit. Betrayal will make me weak. Is that what they want? Maybe. Can any of them be trusted? Show control. What's he going to see in the future? Who's not a traitor? Is that Burke? No. See it through to the end. Who is that? Is that Burke? Yeah, it is. I still have allies I can trust. Look, you have to realize you're not going to keep me from getting a CFR. Cool. Sure. Oh, they're gonna make him one of the soldier dudes. Even though surrender. You have all betrayed me. I showed my downfall. Wait, that's Hatch, right? Yeah. Sure. Oh, that's Burke. It's falling apart. All right. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You need to get the Marines off. He's going to try to um, showing. Right. What's it? Joyce faces the pressure. Fixing the world. No um, Charlie shooting three. Another weakling. A traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer. All of them. Cool. Yeah, well, I've done it for everything else. I'll go with the ones on the right. Sir? Uh, are you alright? Sir, you ordered us to go through Dr. Kim's lab. Find what we can. Who are you working for? You, sir! What the fuck? We didn't get to make this decision, though. So we get to decide that Paul is mental, basically. Okay. Fairies of sex. Sure. I need to be careful. Why is it giving us the information so that we can make an informed choice about this? I mean, seriously. Why isn't that leaving things a bit more ambiguous? to make the decisions more, well, less obvious, you know, more-ish. Okay. 
Maybe I would have thought more people would go to that. Huh. Because that way they could keep their alive and stuff. Oh, well. whatever. Next episode, I guess. Pulse. This one's playing a lot faster. What about my oh, this is the um, previously on, isn't it? Right. I'm gonna make some Indians whilst this is going on. Surrendering to his crone on sickness makes the end fine. That might be why people didn't go with it, or maybe they actually like him. And they don't want him to turn into a complete raving psychopath. Who knows? Uh, this child we're going to see now. Well, that machine to the left there looks kind of like the Nintendo Switch. Dear God, I need that thing in my life. That's amazing! See that amazingly amazing that wait a minute. It's amazing shit. You know what I mean? Ah oh. Well answer the phone then. take some families at least. Some people just wouldn't refuse to go, wouldn't they? She's a dinky women's. She's like five foot one, I think. I remember reading the correctly. Yes, I... She's kind of short. Um, my lady wife is four foot eleven though, so even shorter. Mm. She's like, wait a minute, a dinky women's. And that is, it's beautiful women. Wimmerfoot. He's like, I'm totally listening to you. Is he just going to shoot her in the butt? don't you think, mate? Mm. Mm. It's Charlie, hey, hey. Seriously, coffee? Ugh. 
fucking hamsters. So, whose side is he actually on then? Who's he on the side with? going to have some kind of defenses around it, isn't it? They're not just going to leave something like that, you know, there for anyone to just wander in and take. Well, you never know. Go. Cool. So he's just going to go wander in and go there. Huge. I can take this and shoot. Are you going to put her on the list? Yeah. Mm. Still thinks he's gonna get some, huh? Fiona? Come on, pick up. No, she's pick not up. answering her phone. I thought she had for a moment then. Twenty four hours. Here, so this is happening I need your help. Do you whilst I was doing the other stuff. Do you copy? Nope. She does not. She's never going to. Beth. Sorry, love. It didn't work. I'm sorry. I didn't want the protocol. She can't hear you. And she's never going to. Your face. Silly women's. Hmm? Yes, you're speaking. This is Jack Joyce. Ah. Beth told me you were working again. Might be the only man I have left. What happened? Serene. There wasn't anything I could do, but Fiona, there is something we can do now. Cool. We need to find something we'll call the countermeasure. The CFR. Twelve sided, small, metallic. Like a soccer ball. The CFR. Yeah. The what? Oh, for fuck's sake, Jack. And it can fix the fracture. character for a change. It's not just a character that's dense. What's that all about? It's um thingy bob. It's not just a character that was dense. It's the way it's written. They they don't seem to have really accounted for things as well as they like to think they have. You know, ripples and shit. Characters aren't properly interacting to some of the choices you make. They seem to have assumed that either people wouldn't find all of the documents and stuff, or wouldn't go looking for all of the documents and stuff. And thus didn't really account for changes in conversation. I mean, I can understand that that adds far more time to it and stuff, but seriously, when you get like this, the, the, the differences are so glaring. The responses people have to stuff, you're just like, seriously, dude. But the thing of him not knowing what the CFR is, Jesus Christ, how many times did they have to frickin' tell you? <laughs> 